Hey, Crockpot Sam here. I wanted to just bring this special word to you. Um, I am, uh, I am really, really, oh man, I move right now. I, I feel, I feel a prophetic word uh, to be released uh, right now, and I think I want to do that right now. This moment, uh, I was just in prayer and actually praying uh, with someone, and I, and I sensed that this was a, a word that's. Um, for more than just that individual uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the prophetic the prophetic is simply God's way of communicating with people from his heart through people Amos uh, three eleven says that he doesn't you know God first reveals, reveals his secrets to his prophets and simply what he does is God like you and I is very very big on communication God wants to communicate to us God wants to speak to us God wants his heart communicated to us. God wants, doesn't want us to get things mixed up or twisted. So oftentimes he can use the very elements of this clay, human beings, to communicate his heart to individuals. And I believe that he does that through individuals. I've received that gifting in my life. I've moved in that gifting, functioned. Um, and I wanna do that right now for those on this channel. Uh, this is for those of you who have subscribed, this is one of your blessings that you've got because you subscribed. And so I believe that the word of the Lord would come to many of you, particularly as you know, this is a single man's network. Um, and I, I, I try to purpose to focus this on single men and men who've been in divorce, going through divorce. But I believe that the operative word to, to bring to you is rest. The Bible says that there remaineth a rest for the people of God. And I feel as, as since sort of, Many of you have been in this cycle of anxieties because of everything that goes with the whole process going into those divorces and coming out of them and then with children and then who knows, your spouse may just be riddled with anxieties. Um, but I, re I believe that there remaineth the rest for the people of God, but particularly for those of you who've been going through this anxiety. And some of you have even adopted these anxieties as, as the norm and they're not the norm. So these anxieties come from the, the pit of hell. They're, they're, they're destined and designed to distract you. And they're even using people close to you and close to family members who aren't really Christ-centered and who really don't understand spiritual things per se. And the enemy, the devil himself, literally can come in and use those people because of their ignorance and because they don't understand how to be grounded in the things of God. So he can just slap them around and use them to do work against you. And so you who know God, you who have professed Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, need to understand that God is preparing and moving you in a season of rest in this season where the things that would try to present themselves to you as being threats. Mm, I keep hearing the word threats. There are certain things that the enemy is trying to send your way and they're subtle threats. And he says, don't receive those things. He says, those, those come out of the, one of the things that's released um, during seasons where there's tearing away in relationships because that's what divorce is it's a tearing is some very ill things come out of people's hearts man people will resort to anything they'll say things witchcraft they'll resort to a bunch of stuff to try to just to get at you and god says don't be moved by any of that stuff that's moving around you just settle yourself in stay in prayer Keep reading the word of God and don't allow yourself to be moved back and forth to and fro. Even for those of you who are remarried and you have a great marriage, but you're still dealing with stuff with your previous spouse. Um, it's still an avenue to get at you and move you around and manipulate you. So enter into this season of rest. Embrace this rest. This is an anointed word. I believe that's released that if you receive it, you will immediately feel a lifting of, of weights and rejections. Some of you are being are wallowed in rejection and you're wallowing in it because you're being told things that aren't necessarily true, that are being trumped up on you. And it's again, another uh, tactic of the enemy to bring you from a season of rest. 
God says in your season of rest that he's going to begin to bring great productivity. He's going to be able to do greater things. He's going to be able to provide more money, um, a greater positioning. And he said, even in this season, he will exalt you so that it'll be no question that it's him doing the exalting. It's him holding you up, not to just, you know, move you around like a new toy, but to show that you really are stable and to show that you really do have a foundation and to show that you really do have sanity and to show that you really have what it takes that despite what was said about you, it wasn't true. But God says the season of rest has been prepared for you. So enter into it. The Bible says that we enter into a season of rest. Walk into it. Open the door. Walk into it. Close the door. Sit out on the couch. Amen. I don't know who that's for. Woo. Wow. I had to get that off. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Russia. My God, my God. Ah, Jesus. I see there's there's a there's a there's there's and there's there's even somebody out there, there's people out there, not just somebody, but people. Uh, those of you who are getting married, preparing to be married, don't allow the um requirements, the people, the agendas to pull you away from what drew you together. Because that 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 that's a trick. It's it's, it's an old trick in the book. Learn how to move through the process in peace. God says come together in peace. Every decision, everything that has to be made, every appointment that has to be made, every person that has to be brought in and paid, whatever it is, come together and pray on each and every item and declare peace over those items and watch God walk you into your whole ceremony and everything that you're going to do in a peaceful manner. Amen. Ooh, this is something serious. I got to have me a sweet potato pie now. Mm, mm, mm. So anyway, it's Crockpot saying, man, receive you the word of the Lord for your life. Wow. Jesus.